What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening. Today we're gonna to be opening an Elemental Hero Grand Neos 10. Let's see if we can show most of that. It's pretty tough to show here. But there we go, Elemental Hero Grand Neos, a 2007 10. But not only are that, we're gonna be opening a special edition from Duelist Revolution. This is gonna be really awesome. You can pull some really cool stuff like Effect Failure Ultimate Rare. You can pull Solemn Warning. You can pull Pot of Awesome, if you know what I'm talking about. The giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see in this opening. It's going to be crazy. Let's start off with the Duelist Revolution. All right, here we go. So it could be interesting. I don't know what our promo is. Oh, a Gold Sark. That's actually really cool. Gold Sarcophagus. Super rare. Yeah, this was around the time when it was a, a prize card. I think 2009 it was a prize card. And then this is 2010, I think. I think that's right. So it makes sense. So we already have a super rare. Now let's get into the three Duelist Revolution packs. Can we? You can also pull a Ghost Rare in here, so that, don't forget about that. Ghost Rare, uh, Draco Knight Eskit, or whatever he's called. I don't remember. I've never actually heard anyone pronounce it besides myself, and I have no idea how to say it. So, Naturia Forest, here we go. DD Unicorn Knight, all right, Gen X Worker, Damage Eater, and Earth Shaker Giant. Okay. So slow start, slow start, I'll, I'll admit. I'll be the first one to admit it. It was a slow start. We did well, we just got a rare. But I believe that we'll pull something good. And we will. I've never pulled anything good out of Duel's Revolution, I don't think. I've never pulled like any of the big cards. Scrap Rage. I've pulled a, an Effect Veiler Ultra. Unlimited. That's all I've pulled. Parallel Selection. Okay. Damage Eater. I think you can get rares and, and foils in here, I think. 2010, right? I mean, that should have happened by then, right? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm supposed to know that. Not you guys, I guess. Cursed Armaments. Here we go. Anti-Magic Prism. So far, we're not starting off too good. Naturia Beans. A oh, Unibird. We got a Unibird. I think I've pulled this in like every video that I've opened this. Unibird. Super rare. All right. That's that's great. That's fantastic. Just what we're looking for. That's okay. That's not the main event. We're not here for a Unibird. We're here for the Grand Neos 10 and the promo. Now, can this Grand Neos promo be clutch? Clutch up for us not be damaged will it could it possibly let's see here we go come on come on be in great shape oh i remember about an ultimate rare grand neos and the seller was a complete jerk about it i remember it was like damaged Ooh. Ooh, that thing is pretty minty i'll take that Centering is not too great, but I will take that mintiness all day. That is awesome. That's really awesome to see. So that's a good start. All right, let's go ahead and get the packs out. I don't even remember what's in it. It's like tactical evolution and stuff, isn't it? Is there more glass in here? No, not... Okay, yeah, glass is after this. Force of the breaker. Okay, cool. I got confused with my time periods. I was thinking Duelist Revolution time period. Totally off. Okay. All right. Force of the Breaker, Strike in the... Oh, this is going to be cool. Cyberdark Impact, Power of the Duels, and... Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Oh, what is this? Cyberdark Impact. Let's start off with a... What do we want? We want a Vanity's Ruler Ultimate Rare. Is that what we want? Or a Vanity's Fiend Ultimate Rare? Either one would be pretty sick. We have a Chain Strike. Barrier Statue of the Abyss. A Jesse Breaker. Barrier Statue of the Drought. So I think some of those Barrier Statues are actually worth something because last time I opened these, you guys flipped out. Oh, ho, ho! Allure Queen level 7. Now that I was not expecting. That is absolutely epic. Allure Queen level 7. Ultra rare. Now that would be a crazy ulti. Okay. We're starting off hot here. We are starting off hot. That is a great start. Counter Cleaner. Allure Queen level 3. And Although that's the good one. Storm Winds. We got to pull that out. I know Storm Winds is worth at least... Like a couple bucks. All right, so we got our barrier statue. That's super nice. That was a great pack, actually. Now we have Power of the Duelist. What can we even get out of here? I don't know if, it, if it's a retail pack. Not much. If it's a hobby pack, there's a lot of great stuff. I don't know. In terms of, like, commons and rares, I don't think there's too much at all. Unless I'm missing something, let me know in the comments. Ambulance Rescue Roid. Supercharge. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that's a great ulti. Royal Wit and Sabersaurus. So not a great one. That's okay. We just kind of get that one out of the way. Let's do Force of the Breaker. This actually has Secret Rares in it, which is pretty awesome. So maybe we can pull one of those. I barely opened any Force of the Breaker, like, ever. So this could be fun. Crystal Beast Amber, Amber Mammoth. 
Crystal Abundance, Hard Selling Goblin, Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise, Destroyosaurus, okay, Amethyst Cat, and Breeding Device. All right, we have two packs left. Elemental Energy, Strike and Neos. Let's go with Elemental Energy. We'll do this one first. We could pull Elemental Hero, Shining Flare Wingman. Probably, I don't think you can pull the ulti yet here. You might be able to pull it. I don't know if it's retail or not, but you can pull the ultra either way. Level Modulation, nice. Oh, Weed Out. There's the one I didn't know about. It has the Injected Fairy Lily on it. Bonding H2O. Feather Shot, okay. League of Uniform Nomenclature. There's the Hida. And a Toil of Cyber. Final pack of this opening. So far, we've pulled basically we've pulled a Super and an Ultra. We pulled the Allure Queen, which is pretty awesome. Elemental Hero Air Neos has only been printed once, only in Strike of Neos. So even the unlimited copy, Ultra Rare, is super valuable. When you get talking about the first edition Ultimate Rare, we're just you're on a different level. That's crazy. But even if we pulled the Ultra Rare, that'd be insane. So we've got a Charge of Change of Hero Reflector Ray, Tick Samurai Zanji. The uh, Kaki Gorilla of Dark World. Ritual Ceiling. Okay, guys, we're going to need some luck here. I'm going to need you guys to hit the like button. Here we go. Oh, that's a good one. Dark World Dealings. That's a great super rare. If that was ulti, that'd be crazy. That is a great super rare. Wow, okay, that's actually worth a couple of dollars. That's pretty awesome. So that's a good way to end that 10. That actually turned out to be pretty decent, and not in terms of like how much money it costs, but of actual numbers of pulls. So let's go over what we did get out of our few packs we opened. So we got a Gold Sark out of our special edition as our promo. That's cool. We got the three barrier statues, Stormwinds being the best one. Unibird, super rare. We got a Dark World Dealing, super rare out of Strike of Neos. I've never pulled that. That's really cool. And a Lure Queen level seven, probably the best pull out of Cyber Dark Impact. And our Grand Neos Minty promo so that's pretty cool we did pretty good overall on this opening i'd say in terms of value this tin i don't know exactly what it's worth i can't remember what i paid because i bought it with all that other stuff but uh it's, it's worth a good bit we definitely did not make our money back but we did pretty good with the polls overall i i'm pretty happy with it and if you enjoy the video make sure you guys like it and subscribe also use my tcg player and ebay affiliate links down below if you want to support me i appreciate all you guys that do that and that's it for today i'll see you guys later peace Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>